Okay, I'm in Gandia and uh, it's November the 5th. It's bonfire night. And uh, whether there'll be a lots of bonfires tonight, I suppect there'll be fireworks, but maybe not bonfires. But anyway, it's a beautiful day. It's only between 19 and 20 degrees. It's coming up for 11 o'clock on a Saturday morning. And uh, I've come to look at the, uh, the market today. They have a market on on Saturday. So I thought I'd have a wander and see what it was like. Um, I don't think it's going to be a particular big one, but um, anyway, we'll have a look anyway, and uh, and see what the what the offer is today. So where the Casual de Culture is, so you go past the Casa de Culture, and there's a little alleyway that runs along the side, and if you go up this alleyway where I am going now, uh, one there's a bar at the back which you can have breakfast. They don't do a massive amount of food, but they do do nice breakfast. And then when you get to the end of this, you just walk across the road and that's where they have the market. Now I have no idea what it's gonna be like. It could be tiny, it could be big, it could uh, not be good at all, but we'll have a look and see what it is like. Well, I'm sorry to disappoint you all, but there's no market today. Uh, they seem to be putting up a stage. So there's obviously some kind of music going to happen tonight. Here, as you can see, they're putting up the stage at the moment. So that's obviously what's going on. But there's definitely no market here. So maybe it's been cancelled for today because they've got this going on. Maybe some event, I don't know. I've not read anything about Gandhi or events, so I've got no idea. But uh, we're going to have a coffee over here. This is a Meerkat del Prado, and this is a 1933 when it was open. So we'll go over here and have a, have a coffee and then uh, decide what else we're going to do. But there's plenty of things to look at in Gandia. We're not going to go to the beach today, just stay in the town, but we'll see how it goes. In the square, they have this big area um, for children to play in. But as you can see, there's a great big fence around it. And um, I can't see any entrance into this whatsoever. So I would imagine that it's closed off for some reason. You know, um, it, I can't see anything obvious. But anyway, hopefully when you do visit, if you visit, this place will be open and the children can get in here and climb and enjoy themselves. But uh, at the moment, there's pigeons and that's it. So we got a guy over here who's painting. So I like, I'll wander behind him and see what he's painting, shall we? Looks like he's doing it in watercolors. It's okay, he's quite an old boy as well. Well, when I say old, he, he seems older than me anyway, because I'm pretty old. But uh, he's doing a good job there. You can see the sky in front of me. Look at that color of that sky. That is a fantastic blue. Beautiful. So we've come back out into the main street now. Uh, to my right here is the Casa de Culture. If you're into art, they always have art hanging in here and you can wander around, it's free, you don't need to pay. So if you're a bit of a, a lover of the old arts, you can come here and have a look around. And uh, so we're back on the middle section now. As I said before, there's lots of seating along here because it's, you have all these trees. I mean, it's quite dark here. You know, on the camera, it looks dark, but um, you know, it totally shades you from that hot sun of the day. And, um, you know, if you're someone who wants to get out of the sun, then these seats are ideal for you. So definitely, definitely somewhere to come.
This is the uh, town hall in Gandia. It's very small. The flag's up at the front, as you can see. But uh, it is tiny. And there's a square here with some very large statues, which uh, I've shown you now. Very large, in fact, and enormous. And then behind that, you've got a, a lovely church, which is, looks pretty old. But these statues are incredible with faces. They really are. They've got to be 30, 40, 50 foot high, I reckon. But they do look rather nice. And then here, you've got a couple of restaurants, maybe two or three. Um, one looks like it's open and it's quite busy. But it's quite a pretty setting. They've got all these lovely palms in front of the, of the council offices here, which makes it look uh, quite nice.